Robbo, listen, it's been a massive build-up all week, and I know you've been under not necessarily pressure from outside, but pressure from yourself. How, do, how does that feel now to come away with that two goals and uh, a clean sheet? Well, it couldn't feel any better, to be fair. Obviously, we've had uh, the build-up all week to the game. Um, we've had the players in, we've worked hard. Uh, we've had our game plan, we've structured our training, um, so the players knew exactly exactly what we expected of them today and to be fair they performed they performed on the day but the final message that I put into them was listen we can train well all week however we've got to turn that into the performances and when we cross the white line we've got to bring that passion and pride and that real sense of um, commitment to the football club and I think our players done that listen both in possession out of possession and uh, we got a good result against the very strong Bradford side. You've changed a lot this week under in, in such a short amount of time to get that sort of performance from the lads uh, you know on the pitch today you know, that's that's different gear isn't it and I mean if you look at that second half in particular all throughout that we look like the team that wanted that more. Well listen me and uh and Aaron and Grant have worked tirelessly with this group of players. Um, and yet I think, uh, I, I definitely believe that, that our, our passion has really come out in the players this week. They've given us everything and I've got to thank them wholeheartedly for that. Um, but they now know um, that we've got to take that into every game and if they give that level of commitment in every single game, they send they'll keep improving, they'll keep getting better and they'll get used to it and listen, we, uh, we can go on a real run. But Listen, it's one step at a time and um, and we'll just refocus ourselves and, and get ready for Sheffield United now. Uh, a few surprises on the team sheet uh, from the fans, I suppose, you know, because there was players in that team, in that squad that haven't done a lot wrong, have they? But obviously, you know, you're the new man, you're in, you've made, you made, picked your team and, and it worked for you. Yeah, definitely. And we based our selection on training. Obviously, we had a couple of injuries, which was um, a little bit of a blow as well. However... Um, everybody knew what their job was, whether they was on the bench or whether they were starting. So when they came on, they knew exactly what we expected of them. Um, and I think if you do that, you give the players the best chance um, and they can show the fans then what they can do. And listen, the, the place was absolutely jumping today. And for that reason alone, I couldn't be even more happier because if I know the energy we've put into the players has then rubbed off onto the pitch, that's then rubbed off onto the fans. And listen, as a football club, we can now start to um, re-steady the ship and move forwards. Rico and uh, Rico, Ricardo Santos and Gabby Zaquani at the back there, they did a fine job, didn't they? And it's, it's uh, you know, it, we've got to remember that Santos is such a young lad and the performance he put in today was, was quality, wasn't it? Exactly what is he, he's 19 and uh, he's played with belief in the game on Monday, he's trained well all week. Um, we knew that we was going to have to be dogged aerially um, and listen, Gabby and Rico are excellent defenders and we're looking at, at round pegs in round holes rather than changing things around and listen, uh, they, they dealt with, um, they dealt with the, the aerial threat and the forward runs um, that we knew what we was going to get from Bradford really, really well today. So, but they knew their job and they've done it and I'm over the moon for them. Going in at half time at 0-0, did you feel it was just a, a game of patience at that stage? Uh, well, at half time we spoke to the players and we was honest with them and we felt that they earned the right to play and we said, listen, now just relax, take the shackles off and go and play with some freedom at the right times. Um, and we've done that. Um, we tried to um, get John Taylor um, at the left back 1v1 and every time he got it he started to excite the crowd and started to lift it and we'll do, be doing the same thing with Joe Newell um, and obviously that's how we want to play moving forwards. Uh, obviously it's unfortunate to, to lose Vass who's, um, who's just coming back from injury um, after 60 minutes um, but that was just a straight change for his energies and, um, and obviously Luke James took quite a heavy knock to his head and obviously with Tuesday in mind as well I thought it was a good opportunity to give Harry Anderson his debut um, and we knew that he would give us the energy that we needed to stay high up the pitch um, we needed to do that and, and I thought we had done uh, uh, listen I'm over the moon with him Both strikers actually had some opportunities didn't they um, two or three yeah, definitely. And listen, we'll keep working on that. They'll um, they'll improve. They'll get more. Um, they'll get more confident in front of goal with what we're doing and um, with the new training program that we've implemented. Um, and I'm confident that, that those two players have got goals in them. Um, we need to move forward. We've got Connor Washington hopefully back on Tuesday as well. So it gives us a little bit of competition for places. Which, when you have that, I think really, uh, really. Um, 
increases the, the intensity of what we're doing and the, the players will then help each other um, progress and move on. Gabby stepping up and uh, and putting the first goal in, you, you really did start all guns blazing in that second half. And, you know, fr throughout the week, that's, you've been doing that not just with your strikers, with your defenders, getting them to score goals, and they've been doing that, haven't they? Yeah, all week, all week. Um, and that's right across the park. But, again, like what we said, defensively, it's everyone's responsibility. Attacking-wise, it's everyone's responsibility. We've got goals in the team right the way throughout. But also, when we haven't got the ball, everybody is responsible. So they need to know what their job's in and need to work their socks off for each other. And they've done that, everyone to a man today. And uh, um, listen, I'm really, really, really excited. But those standards are set now. Um, and they need to take that into the next game. Any qualms with the penalty? Was it a penalty in your eyes? Definitely. I thought we possibly could have had one in the first half. Um, but the referee decided not to give it when Luke James was on the floor. Um, and... Uh, and, and was kicked, but listen, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. I don't, I don't mind that. Was Bozzi a chosen penalty taker? Uh, Vass was on the penalties, um, and then when Vass come off, Bozzi was the, was the next one. Um, but listen, he scored, so he'll stay as the penalty taker for the next one. You mentioned Connor there briefly. What What, what is the news with Connor Washington and Marcus Madison, both who weren't included today? Uh, well, uh, Connor's got a, a slight back injury. He had a back spasm um, in training earlier on in the week. Um, we're just looking to, to protect him. He wasn't quite 100% today, so um, we decided to... Um, to keep him out and he'll, um, I'm expecting him to be available for Tuesday um, and <clears throat> who was the other one? Marcus. And Marcus obviously had a dead leg um, and he's had quite a, a lot of bleeding and bruising in that leg so uh, he's not quite ready, he hasn't got a full range but we're hoping to get him back um, for next weekend. Yeah, how uh, how much is your mind now focused on Tuesday night? Because obviously it's another huge, I suppose they are big games at this stage. But, uh, you know, Bramwell Lane, lov lovely ground, nice pitch, and a pitch that we can actually play football on, so you'll be looking at that. Yeah, definitely, and we'll be we'll be looking to play and assert our game um, on Tuesday. Listen, we know what Sheffield United will be like. They're, uh, um, they're another strong team up there in the playoffs. Um, so it's another it's another exciting game for the players to look forward to. Is this a monkey off your back in a sense? Because obviously, you know, listen, it's your first victory. Is it everything you could have wanted? You'll sleep well tonight. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely will. It's been a, it's been a long week. It's been an exciting week. Um, and listen, we've got the performance. We asked for the performance, and if we got the performance, we felt that we'd definitely get the result we deserved. And um, listen, it was a, a dogged performance. Um, and we dug deep and we got out of the game what we deserved today. Finally, Harry, Ander Harry Anderson, I think it's, that's his debut, wasn't it? That is his debut, yeah, he's an under-18 um, and we knew at that time uh, what we needed uh, and Harry gave us that. Um, but the lad's got a, listen, the lad's got an exciting future, he's full of energy, he can play as a winger, he can play as a forward um, and he's one that we'll be looking to continue to develop and, and progress.